Hello everyone, welcome to my course. In this video, I'll discuss about a repeater. How you can use a repeater in Bob Suit. So first, I try to open one test website. So te test Acunetics. This one. Test php dot valweb dot com. So suppose now any request I want to capture, okay, and I want to uh, like test manually. I want to manipulate one by one, okay, in that request because in that request there is lots of things is there, so we can manipulate one by one, okay. So suppose this request, suppose poster, suppose this request, this URL. I want to manipulate okay so means this request I want to check and modify so in the Bob Stewart I just click on this intercept on button and now I just capture that request so here is the request I can see so I want to send this request to the repeater why repeater because in the repeater there is a option uh, there is two window like request and respond instant i can see that response response check that response and i no need to check my uh, browser to check that response and i want to manipulate every line of this request okay so again and again i no need to capture that request through the browser so suppose i want to check this and i want to manipulate this uh, through the repeater so i just right click on this and just click on send to repeater okay or control r so i just click on this and now here i just click on intercept op no need so now i just go to that repeater tab okay so in that repeater tab actually here is the layout here you can check so this layout actually here you can check the request and this is the request and this is the response tab in the same window parallel you can see and if you check this one so it's so that response it's so like in below and here in the different tab request and response so it's first one i choose because it's easy for me check to check that so now this is the request so now normal request i just click on send button and here you can see that response okay so this is the response against this particular request and here there is options also like here you can click the render so you can uh, get that browser view as well as okay so i just click on pretty means this code one okay so now suppose i want to manipulate okay suppose and if you want to do manual testing okay so frankly speaking like every request this line like total here eight line in this request so you have to everything you have to manipulate one by one and you have to check that response what kind of response you are getting so suppose first checking first i am checking there is a parameters that parameter name is like cat equal to one so suppose i want to check that uh, check for sql injection so i just add single code and click send button and let's check what kind of message is showing okay so it's showing my sql error message right after adding that single code and here you check that render version like browser version as well as so it's showing that mysql error so means this link is vulnerable for sql injections so now not only this now again you can manipulate with like script like let's say as example script alert and then suppose message like hi okay and then suppose i close that tag yeah so now this time I want to manipulate with one JavaScript for checking cross site scripting. So click on send button and let's see here you can check like that script is infected or not. 
like it's showing again mysql this error message actually and here you can check that render version as well as okay so now again i just undo this and suppose now this time you can change the method as well as uh, modify the method suppose i want to check like how many methods is basically allow for this request so here i just click i just type options okay so through this option method actually here you can check like how many method you are calling basically and support basically for this request so i just click on send button and let's see it's showing like uh, yeah it's it's normal like there is server information is there so it's not details is not showing because so means that option method is not allowed uh, in a well for this request so again i change modifies as a get and yeah so this is normal one and now here every line actually you can modify and you can check so this request not not nothing like there is no parameters post parameters or like uh, nothing uh, there is no such more details so but here you can check one by one okay and you can in the right side in the response you can check what kind of response is showing after manipulating it's so easy like if you if you uh, suppose uh let's say as example uh you manipulate one like uh checking for sql1 so then then again you have to capture the request and then again you have to forward but the things is here easily you can check the things in the same window with different kind of manipulation so for this purpose is basically repeater use so you can manipulate in different way at the same time